it. All right, good morning and welcome to another episode of Jake from Upstate Farm. Today we're no longer upstate. Uh, last video was up at my mom and my dad's farm in upstate New York, uh, building that tree stand. Well, we're back in Tennessee today with my buddy Asher and we were gonna work on a couple projects but it ended up raining so uh, the plans changed a bit. Um, so we're here, here's my uh, one of my stands. Today I'm gonna talk about the camera setup that I use. I'm new to filming my hunts this last year and I started real cheap. Um, still am on all budget equipment so I wanted to share some of that. I have a piece of equipment that I didn't realize the value of it until I started getting other cameras and looking into camera shopping. I now have um, the camera that I'm filming on, a GoPro, and then the budget camera that I started with. And I'm going to talk about the benefits of the one I started with, the budget camera, and kind of show you my setup. If you're starting out filming hunts, um, this is a great piece of equipment that you can buy that actually has some other purposes, so I'll explain those to you. I have to get this stand set up a little bit, so come along with me on that and enjoy. The first thing that we have to get done today, why I bought those pieces of wood, is because that's where we walk in. This is along edge of a hay field and a hedgerow and then that is what we call the holler down there see it connects over to the deer stand over on that side the blind so this is tucked into this cedar tree here and it's a great spot i shot a deer out of it last year but the only problem is as you can see there's a barbed wire fence right here and in order to get to my stand i have to climb over it i put this ladder here so i could climb over it but i still get caught on it every time all my jeans are ripped at the, the crotch. So I said enough's enough and I'm gonna build a little staircase over it. You'll see it's nothing fancy. So I can just creepy crawl over it in the mornings um, without ruining the fence and without ruining my pants. So let's get to doing that. Well, that took entirely too long. Uh, I've been out here for hours. I know the video speeds everything up, but I uh, ended up just walking around because it's been pouring. I saw two huge bucks actually out in this field when I went to the other side of it, kicked them up. But basically just been out here working on some trench foot. Absolutely soaked. I just finished this up. It's pretty janky. I threw it together in the pouring rain while making like 18 different phone calls. So it'll do its job. It's not even connected on the other side there. It's not touching ground, but it will when you step on it. it does its job, it does the purpose, saves the fence. Last thing I need to do for this uh, stand here is put the camera arm up and I have a muddy, I don't know what it's called, but it, I can link it down in the description if I find out what it is. It's the cheapest one. I think I bought it for like 30 bucks last year. I don't know what it's going for now. I'm gonna throw that up at the stand. And then since it's still kind of raining, I'll show you the camera up in the big uh, box blind. I'll tell you a little bit about it and explain why I love it. All right, so I got my muddy. Let's give this a go. This is the benefit of this. Wild out here. Here's my stand, it's cedar thicket. Let's see where I'm gonna put this camera. Okay, so we're gonna put it right here on that side. It's probably the worst day probably ever pick to do this, but we're doing it. So 
So that's on our right. Now you can kind of see what we're working with. It's really simple. I mean, you can see how simply made it is. Boom, bam, bop. You gotta throw some grease in there because you can see it sticks. I also haven't used this in like a year. Set that over to the side. All right, that's good for that. Let's get out of here. To give you an insight into my next project after this one, it involves this container out here that is in the middle of the field. Uh, my girlfriend's uncle uses it for storage, but he gave us permission to build on top of it. Um, so we're gonna put a platform up and build a, and put a blind up there. We have a rhino plastic blind. Um, so we're gonna build a structure and that way my girlfriend's dad can come hunting. Um, we'll put a ladder up. So that's gonna be the next project. So stick around, that'll be a fun one. All right, welcome to the deer blind. I figured it was best to come up here because we have the best vantage point so I can show you the power of this camera and why I think it's the best budget. It's over $200, so that's expensive in my mind, but as my cousin says, nobody's frugal these days, so uh, I'll consider this budget. It's probably gone for like $250, and it's an old camera. Um, you probably gotta get it off eBay or Amazon or something like that. that. I mean, people will have it, but it's just not gonna be on the shelf at Best Buy or something like that to go check out and put your hands on. Um, so without further ado, this is the Lumix DMC FZ70. This camera is like, I got this maybe in 2012, 2013. And that's what I started shooting the first few videos that I have on my channel. Um, I used this. And so it is a point and shoot camera. I'm filming off of a Canon M50 right now, which is a mirrorless camera. I'm learning about this stuff as I'm getting involved. I also have a GoPro, which is an action camera. Um, but if you're starting, all you gotta do is hit the record button, which is what everyone says. All the YouTube videos that I started watching that suggested cameras and whatnot. Um, so the benefit of this is that you don't have lenses, you don't have settings to adjust. You literally can just point and shoot and that's what its job is to do. Um, there are cons, but it's nitpicky. It's not something you need to worry about. Um, now, why is it the best for filming hunts? I'll show you right here. This is the reason. That right there. This zooms in 60X. So for example, the camera I'm using right now, it's 15 to 45 millimeters. 45 is this. Okay, that didn't do that much, right? This is 15 to 1200. So where that comes in handy is when we're out here, we're essentially, you know, using your binoculars, spotting all this stuff around you. I have a 300 yard shot that way and I can see probably 600 yards, maybe 700 yards on our property that way. Um, and so when I'm filming this stuff, I want to be able to use this camera also as a spotting scope almost. Um, and that's what I do with it. So let me kind of give you an idea of what I can see using this camera. All right, so from your point of view, let's check this out. I'm looking at a fence post, probably 350 yards away. That looks like nothingness out there, but there are definitely animals and critters that could be creeping around. Um, so I love to have this as a spotting scope and to be able to see as far as I want to and not be limited by the lens. That's about 700 yards, I would say, over to the other side. You can see it, there's a ridge line right there and that's on the whole other side of the property. That's where I shot a couple turkeys and whatnot. I'm not gonna be looking over there for a deer to be able to shoot. I'm not gonna shoot across the property, but it is cool just to be able to um, be able to have the power to Let's see this. If there's anything over there, I definitely have the ability to see it. It's pretty fascinating. Look at that. That is a wild amount of zoom. Now this isn't the most technical review. This is just my personal experience. I know I came searching for these videos, so if someone else is searching for these videos, I want them to stumble upon this and have an idea of another option, you know, um, something that I didn't really see. And a lot of people were suggesting, um, you know, camcorders, the... So nobody suggested this. This was actually a gift to me. And I ended up discovering its strength as a 
perfect camera to bring hunting. I have newer cameras, but I choose to bring uh, this one hunting. Another benefit to this camera is that it's extremely light. I can throw this in a backpack, no problem. Like, there's no attached lenses. It, it's very easy to lug around. It's also durable. I don't know if you can see on the screen here. Yeah, there you go. I dropped this out of a tree stand and it cracked. But it still works, so that's a good thing to know. There's not a screen like the camera I'm filming on right now has a articulating screen. There's nothing like that. Now that is beneficial for when you're hunting because you're usually sitting to one side of the camera and it allows you to see what you're filming but not having to get behind it or change your body. Um, but here I'm in a big box blind. This is one of the places where I hunt. It's no problem out here. Um, uh, the battery life on this is great. I, I know it's like 400 shots with photography, but I don't know what that turns into with with uh, video, but the batteries are also cheap. I have two batteries and I almost never have to change them, ever. Whereas my GoPro, I have like four batteries and it's like you need to change them pretty quick. Another reason to get this is uh, ease of use, I, I would say. Um, you know, you don't have to adjust the ISO and the aperture. I don't know if you've seen those come across your videos, but um, this is just a point and shoot. There's an intelligent auto uh, setting right there. Flick it on that, hit the record button, no problem. Um, when you hunt your beginning of the day, end of the day, dusk, dawn, and it's really dark out, um, this camera is fantastic. I mean, you can be at the brink of it being dark out and still for some reason through this it it all looks light you can see stuff that you wouldn't be able to see with your naked eye i just came out here last week and i was sitting in this blind and i couldn't see anything out in this field right here and i was using this to see things and i could see a doe that was 250 yards out and that's really cool this camera's just been great for me and i can sh i can roll some clips i've seen deer like you get you get up and personal with the the critters that you see um I brought it coyote hunting last year and <laughs> I had like a 400 yard shot but with this it looked like it was like 10 feet away. Um, so I got some great clips of coyotes. I'll show you it right here when it was snowing. Um, but ultimately um, if you're starting out you want uh, versatility, ease of use, and cheap. Mostly the cheap part. So. When you're going for something cheap, you want it to be able to, you know, you don't want to get the camera that I have right now and and buy something you think is cheap and then not be able to see a lot. I mean, this, it also has built-in recording, so you don't need one of those fancy cat whatever mics on the top of it. You literally are just hitting the record button and going. So uh, this, $250, definitely something that I would consider buying if I was you. Again, it's a Lumix. FZ70. I know there's an FZ80 and an FZ100 or whatever, um, but again, this is my favorite part about it right here. 60x. You got a 60x zoom, so you can see everything that you're needing to. Um, another way that I use this, I bet I can show you. This is the last picture. I use this when I'm sighting in my rifles. What I do, since you know you sight them into a hundred and 150 yards, 50 yards, something like that. I don't want to have to keep walking back and forth um, after three round shots or whatever. I zoom in on this and you're right up in the target. You can take a picture after each shot and you can compare them. So what I'll do is I'll take this picture, I'll take back to back pictures. This flopped over and we were actually shooting the white, but I used it in order to compare the shots, um, which is pretty unique way to do it but you know it allows you to see where you hit and you can say oh yeah that one wasn't there before so that's where the telephoto zoom lens comes in handy now ultimately if you decide to get more cameras down the road that's cool too but you're not going to be having all what's packed into this for 250 dollars what this can do with the benefits of this i have like stumbled around looking at stuff i don't still don't know that much about camera stuff but it's like thousands so if you're a high schooler college kid looking to get into filming your hunts i got into it because i wanted to you know record it for me mostly and i was sharing it with my family and and you know if my girlfriend's like oh how's your hunt or if i 
shot something or, or anything, I wanted to record it, I could go back and watch it and relive that. It's just a great tool to have, even if I wasn't filming it for YouTube. It's a fascinating tool to have. Um, and again, doubles as a, sp as a spotting scope, so there's your money right there. Two tools packed into one. It's starting to rain, so this was just a quick short video. I wanted to tell you about one of my pieces of equipment that I absolutely love. Um, that's cheap, one of my favorite parts about it. Um, it's starting to rain, so I'm probably gonna head out of here, but if you have any questions about this camera or if you have suggestions of a similar camera, you know, cheap, has good zoom. Those, those are my favorite aspects of this, so if you have something that's similar to it, feel free to drop it in the comments. It's cool to have different tools out here to add a different uh, side of hunting um, and add a different challenge, you know, it, and it has a great outcome. You end up being able to share your experience with other people, so it's definitely a fun topic to talk about. I'm really new to it, so I only have my experience, but would love to hear from other people. If you have any ideas or anything or questions, just feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching the video and subscribe.